when you say you've never felt more loved, peace, joyful, don't seem to go anywhere, that's not a bad thing. Um, that is the mature state. And actually, in reality, you are probably doing things in your spirit that you don't necessarily need to know in the soul. And coming to that place where you don't need to know is probably the process you're in, because God wants you to get to that place where you can be and not just do. So being, the doing flows out of the being. And I would say in everything that I've done in all my journey, I am now in a state of being rather than having to consciously think about doing because my spirit is living in the realms of heaven. I'm functioning in the realms of heaven all the time, multidimensionally in, in many different places, in a synchronous way. And I don't need to know what it is most of the time. So that for me is a state of rest. And I think you're getting to that place. So don't try and think you need to understand everything. You've surrendered to God. You're in a place where you're feeling loved. Um, that's the place where you're able to do things in the spirit because you're you're letting that happen. I had to go through that process of where my soul had to let go of the need to know and understand and just embrace the reality that sometimes I wouldn't. But I trusted God anyway. And I think you're probably in that process as well. Um, so just surrender. You don't need to know um, if you if you did, God would show you and he will show you if you need to. So sort of relax. Don't try and strive for seeing, engaging, doing things when you are already doing things. And God is allowing you to see you can be doing things without necessarily having to be cognitively aware of all those things. The things I've done is because I'm a teacher. And I'm de I, my destiny is to equip other people into doing these things. So I do have a record of all the things I've done, in, in a sense, in the past, to sort of follow through a linear process to help people understand. But I'm now in a state of being in which I, and that's a state of conscious awareness of just being. Um, so now communion to me is a state of being. I don't just do take communion when I eat or drink i am in a state of communion so i'm in a state where i'm constantly in communion and fellowship and intimacy therefore i'm constantly in that place of the love of god and the power of god and the grace and mercy of god and the frequency of god's love are transforming me and are transforming my dna and are cleansing everything in my life which might be a hindrance to me fully entering into everything that god has designed for me so, of course, yes, I did uh, apply the blood of Jesus to my DNA. I did apply communion. I did do those things. I did go to my mountain and govern uh, and rule. And I did go to the courts and do various things. I don't do that consciously anymore. It's not saying I'm not doing it, but I don't have to be focused on it because my spirit is capable of doing that while I'm functioning here and enjoying life. God wants you to have a place of love, joy and peace here enter into rest and enjoy life and actually if we're consciously having to do all these things if i had to consciously do all of the seven or eight places i am in the spiritual realm now and do all the things that i'm doing simultaneously in those realms it would take up more than 24 hours of my day so my spirit can do it because it's not functioning in the same time scale so that brings you to a place of just coming to place of rest just trusting whatever the father is doing but so many people would be desperate to feel so loved so at peace and so joyful because they're not in that place you're in that place don't get out of that place just stay in it don't put an agenda on it just let god and you'll find that anything you need to see he'll show you but don't assume you're not doing anything or going anywhere because i i guarantee that you are he is just freeing you to realize you don't have to know everything about it all in that way. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.